Lines about summer travel from the CDC. If you are traveling out of the country, check with the State Department and Embassy before you book your flight. Arjit Sashadri reports from our Atlanta Bureau. The CDC has added more than 60 countries to a very high alert level because of COVID-19 infections, including India, Egypt, Costa Rica, and several European countries. Countries in the midst of serious surges are not good choices. Even if you are vaccinated, should you need health care during your trip, whether it's a car accident or a, an anticipated heart attack, you become a burden to a struggling health system. But the CDC is easing travel restrictions to more than 100 countries, including Mexico, Canada and Japan. Health experts say only travel if you are vaccinated. Our vaccines are uh, effective in that they can prevent severe illness and, and, and probably most infections from the Delta variant. I am very concerned that uh, you know, our, our vaccination rates here at home in the U.S. Are, are, coming, are, are slowing down. The CDC says many Caribbean countries are reporting low infection rates and could be good choices for families. Airports and airlines are still requiring masking for all passengers, including vaccinated ones. Health experts say before you travel, Make sure you have proof of your vaccine. If you haven't gotten it yet, I really strongly advise everyone to get vaccinated when it's available to you. The COVID vaccines have proven to be effective and safe. With six months of data since their rollout, serious side effects from the vaccine are proving to be extremely rare, while more and more studies show how many deaths were prevented with vaccination. I think if it's not needed, it's, it's best to avoid it. The hospital beds in several of these regions are still full. So if you contract COVID-19 and you have to go into the hospital, it might be difficult and challenging. Reporting in Atlanta, Archit Sashadri, Atlanta Bureau Chief.